Hey guys, here today to talk to you about PG Woodhouse. So please ignore my background today. I am in the middle of reorganizing my books and it is uh, taking longer and much more effort than I was anticipating. A bunch of you have actually been asking for um, a new bookshelf tour sometime soon. The last one I did was in 2014 and it is long and epic and it took me uh, hours and hours to film and then even longer to edit. So um, that's daunting. I actually currently have five different bookcases. There's three along this wall and two over there. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe I will split it into five and do a separate video for each bookcase, make it a little bit more manageable. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of that. Now on to the actual reason for this video. Every time I bring up Woodhouse, I get questions on where to begin with him. So I thought it was about time I did a whole separate video on the matter. I completely understand being a little bit overwhelmed or intimidated by Woodhouse. He is a super prolific writer. His writing career spanned from I think 1902 to 1974. So that is massive and he wrote a lot during that time. He has over 90 novels, over 40 plays, over 200 short stories. It's a lot. For those of you completely unfamiliar with Woodhouse, he is a British comic novelist. He mostly writes about the upper classes. He's particularly well known for two different series of books, and that is his Jeeves series, which is about the title character of Jeeves, who is a gentleman's gentleman, and he works for the character of Bertie Wooster. And Bertie is an upper class twit and he is completely wonderful. Um, not always all there. And Jeeves basically runs Bertie's life for him, sometimes with Bertie's permission, sometimes not so much. But both characters are wonderful and their dynamic is perfect. And the other series that he's particularly known for is the Blanding series. And that is all set on the Blanding's estate, Blanding's castle, and the main characters for Blanding's are Lord Emsworth, who is a middle-aged to elderly, very, very scatterbrained man. He is the master of Blanding's castle. Um, there's also his youngest son, Freddy, who is just completely wonderful, a very similar character to Bertie, but maybe even um, a little bit sillier. There's also Beach, who is the butler for Blanding's, and uh, a various array of other characters, including uh, many of Freddie's aunts. Lord Emsworth has, I think, either six or seven sisters, and they all come in and out of the stories as we go. Woodhouse definitely had a thing about aunts, because, because aunts also play a large part in the Jeeves books. Um, Bertie has several of them, and most of them are terrifying. So as well as those, there are some other reoccurring characters here and there, but mostly his other books are just standalones and they're still fantastic and they often have a very similar feel to his Jeeves and his Blandings books. Essentially, if you've tried a couple of Woodhouse books and didn't enjoy them, chances are you won't enjoy any of it because he has a very specific style. He, a lot of his writing was very formulaic. So it is really something you either enjoy or you don't and I happen to love it. Now, as for where to start, I think you should probably start with either a Jeeves or a Blandings book and it 100% does not matter what book you choose. If I'm going through and reading a bunch then I will normally attempt to read in chronological order just of publication date but it's not necessary and I've definitely skipped around and for the most part stories uh, don't have a tenuous link it's just stories about the same characters so they really don't have to be read in a specific order. As far as personal recommendations go, I really love for the Jeeves books. This is the collection of short stories called Very Good Jeeves. It is wonderful. Uh, Thank You Jeeves is also really great. This is a novel. And Carry On Jeeves and The Inimitable Jeeves are also really fantastic. All four of those really good places to start within the Jeeves series. As far as Blandings goes, I've read less of those so far, although it is my goal to read as many as possible this year. Um, but Summer Lightning is my favourite so far. It is a novel and it a lot of it centres around the Empress, which is Lord Emsworth's pig, and it is just so good. So, so funny. 
and the first book that includes Blanding's characters is called Something Fresh and I reread that uh, in January and I love it, highly recommend. And if you start reading these books and fall in love with the characters the way I did, there are um, some great adaptations actually as well. For Jeeves, there is a series called Jeeves and Worcester, which I believe is from the 80s and it stars Stephen Fry as Jeeves and Hugh Laurie as Bertie Worcester and they are hysterically funny. It is so good and so, so true to the text. It just feels perfect. They are just so, so wonderful. I love them in general, but Jeeves and Worcester is like a serious career highlight there. And as for something a little newer, uh, a few years ago there was a Blanding series that came out, a BBC series that has uh, Timothy Spall as Lord Emsworth and Jennifer Saunders as one of the aunts, Aunt Connie, and it was just excellent. There's been two series so far. It did get cancelled, but there is word that it's coming back, so I'm excited. But I really do highly recommend both of those. Blanding's is a little bit more over the top than the Jeeves series, but once you start watching and really get involved in the characters, I just feel like it's perfect. Now I just want to quickly talk a little bit about additions as far as Woodhouse goes. So when I first started reading Woodhouse, these editions were available, and I only have two of these regrettably, but these were sort of 90s, early noughties editions. And they're just little compact, really nice to read. I really like the uh, illustrations on these. So if you can find these secondhand, I really do recommend them. They're very, very nice. These are Penguin editions. But as for the current Woodhouse editions that you can buy now that are still in print, the most common are these by Arrow. They're fine. I don't love the design on these, but they work. They do the job. They're the books. But the one thing I really do like about these is You'll see, if I hold these up, these each have a different image on the spine here, and they denote actually what series they are from. So on the Jeeves books, these have a little top hat and gloves, and that will tell you that it's a Jeeves and Worcester novel. This one here has the Empress, Lord Emsworth Pig, on the side here, so that is a Blandings book. And this one here with just a martini glass is just a standalone P.G. Woodhouse novel. So I think that's a really nice touch. Next up, and my current favourites... Are the Norton editions so these look like this they have very matte covers they're very flexible paperbacks they feel lovely to read the paper quality is really really nice so this one here is heavy weather and then this one that I showed earlier is very good Jeeves and I just I love these I think they're beautiful but there are also these little hardcover everyman editions and I only just got two of these recently I didn't think that I was going to like them that much but they're actually really nice they're very small hardcovers just very plain illustrations they have nice end papers the actual hardcover is cloth bound inside and I just they're a nice option and obviously nice and sturdy and they're gonna last better than just a regular paperback and I am not sure if any editions actually have all of Woodhouse. So since there is just so so much Woodhouse to collect, I don't worry too much about my editions matching. I just like having quite an eclectic mix of my Woodhouse volumes because uh, there's just too many so I can't be precious about it. I know for certain that the Norton ones don't have everything um, in them yet. I don't know if they will continue to keep releasing new ones. I'm hoping that they will because I think the Norton ones are just the best as far as my personal taste goes. But all of them are quite nice and I can definitely recommend them. Um, obviously, if you are more of a library person, then go check some out. I'm sure that any library you go to will have a decent selection of the Jeeves books and the Blandings books and probably a few standalones. I'm assuming most libraries aren't going to have the full Woodhouse because, once again, it's a lot of books. But you never know. Have a look around. And secondhand is always a good idea for Woodhouse as well, just because he has been in print for such a long time um, and he was just so prolific. I always like checking secondhand stores uh, for whatever Woodhouse I can find. So that was it guys. I hope that was at least somewhat helpful. I really just think if you like comic novels then Woodhouse is worth a try. And the great thing about him is if you do end up liking him, uh, you've got a lot to read. So that's always exciting. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon.